Hey, what's up guys? Bibo here. So this is still the continuation of my Complex 2017 Taipei Taiwan experience. And for today, I'm going to share ang uh, Kingston and HyperX, which is ito yung mga memory module, yung mga storage, and USB. I think you've heard this, and uh, this is the Data Traveler. So it, this is one of their popular na USB, and actually, it's the world's first one terabyte and two terabyte storage, and it's actually really small. So it's a thumb drive but it has a huge capacity and uh, they also have other products like a customizable USB and yung mga memory modules pero actually see si Kingston uh, they uh, separated na yung more on the component side so yung mga pang gaming yung mga storage and SSD or yung mga high end type na mga storage nila is they moved in into the HyperX brand and actually ito yung showcase nila sa Computex 2017 and uh, the first one is actually in the enterprise side. So this is used sa mga data center and actually this is not yet available and this is coming this year. And uh, this one is the PCIe SSD with a 8 terabyte storage. Yup, PCIe SSD, that's a very fast na storage while they also have a UDAP2 na 4 terabyte. This is on the enterprise so usually data center ang, ang gumagamit ito. This, uh, may not be available in the consumer side but if you have the luxury of paying the amount of money for this kind of storage you may purchase it but of course ayun na kipahirapan meron sila consumer level na SSD and this one is the KC1000 NVMe PCIe SSD and available in 3 na variants so meron 240 gig 480 gb and 980 gb storage so uh, this one, it has 2700 read speed while the write speed niya is 1600. Very fast in terms of a uh, NVMe PCIe SSD. And also they announced a new memory module and this is the HyperX Predator DDR4 memory which can go up to 128GB capacity plus meron 3000MHz speed. And if you notice, HyperX is really into building their own empire in terms of the PC components. and also for the gamers so in terms of the storage and memory available na plus they added a uh, another category which is for again for gamers and this is the mouse and the keyboard plus meron sila mouse mat and the first one is actually this this is the HyperX Alloy FPS and this one is a aluminum build na keyboard with a mechanical keys which uses a Cherry MX blue and uh, they also have a uh, HyperX Pulse Fire FPS. So this is more intended for FPS uh, gamers. So if you're on a CS:GO or on among mga uh, first-person shooting game. And uh, also, they this in announce na bago, which is if you can see here, this is not yet RGB. So if you're a fan of RGB keyboards, they are coming up with a new keyboard, and that is called the HyperX Alloy Elite RGB. So if medyo nalalaki na kayo dito sa HyperX Alloy FPS dahil meron siyang numeric keypad. So they also announced a new keyboard na meron lang full QWERTY key na walang numeric keypad. And that is called the HyperX Alloy FPS Pro. So uh, unfortunately, hindi nga lang siya RGB pero you still have the luxury of having a metal na frame. And that's about it guys. So stay tuned sa aking unboxing and full review of the HyperX Pulsefire FPS and also the HyperX Alloy FPS. So if you have any questions, feedbacks, or suggestions, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. So once again, I'm B-Boy. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video. So meron pa tayong mga ibang Computex coverage. So medyo marami pa kayong abangan dito sa Pinoy Screencast. So again, see you on my next video. Bye-bye!